Hi guys, Ray here, Safe Hand TV. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you feeling? Being a champion. Bernard Janine from the Citizen Channel joins us. We're here to preview the FA Cup final. Hey, mate, how you doing? How you doing? That crown suit. Oh, we're mad for it, mate. We're mad for it again, as the Manchester Evening News thing in the background says there. We're mad for it again. Yeah. Are they twisting your melons, man? (laughs) Yeah, twisting something. (laughs) Yeah, guys, we're looking forward to the mother of all FA Cup finals. You might have thought... Revenge. It's revenge time for them. Revenge. You might have thought last year's FA Cup final obviously had a lot on the line because... We'd won the uh, the league, we got the FA Cup, and then we had the Champions League to come. So we got that treble. United all knew the English team to have that treble. Um, were there to stop us, and you know we we beat them this well, year. Je- Jeopardy, of course, is do we want to play Arsenal or United in the Community Shield? That's the problem. I don't think we care, do we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Neither. No, we should be. No, City should insist that we play the reserves. It should be a, 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 a team of our choosing. We should be able to handpick who we want to play. Uh, and uh, West Ham, I'd like to play West Ham because basically we thump them most times we play them. So that would be very nice. Um, but you know, look, United again have the opportunity to stop us creating history. Because if we win the FA Cup this weekend, it'll be a double-double. No one's ever done that, you know. And so it's another thing for Pep to create history. Another opportunity for a poor, quite frankly, a very poor Manchester United side to try and trip us up and to stop us creating history. And for that reason, I think that puts a bit more pressure on us than we would normally have because we know it's history, because we know, know it's those dirty rags. And they'll step up their game a little bit um, to have a go at us. But, I mean, how are you looking forward to this weekend? Are you nervous, excited? Uh, uh, is it an anti-climax after the, uh, the four-timer? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'd say the last three or four league games, I'd say I was, I was pretty ill. I felt ill. I didn't feel right. I, feel, I felt off. Yeah. I felt better on Sunday because I was there and could have a couple of beers and enjoy it. But... Uh, yeah, I've been struggling a little bit, and I've not nothing's kicked in for this one yet. As I said, I've not been in work since uh, Sunday anyway to see any of the United fans at our yeah. place, so I couldn't gloat, of course. <laughs> but they're all they're all they're all saying we're going to stuff them. But you know, at the end of the day, we, we we'd say the same. We'd yeah. say exactly the same, and then we we slutched a win. We'd be absolutely delighted, won't we? And the yeah. thing is, of course, they're getting players back as well now uh, that they've not had. So yeah. you know, there's three or four guys on the bench and. St- played against Brighton. They've won the last two games as well. They're on a roll, mate. I tell you what, they're on a, they're on a not as good as our roll, but they're on, they're on a, you know, what is it? What's the word we use? Um, momentum. That's it. Momentum. We may not use that for a while, have we? Uh, they've got the momentum. And of course, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm not worried, but uh, I was looking at the that XG. You see that XG thing on yeah. X? Um, and now there's, they, they obviously were well above uh, that, because he, they score worldies. I mean, they've got players yeah. there, Ganacho, who can score from, you know, all right. Goal of the uh, season. Think of the Gundogan last season. But, I mean, you know, they've got players who can score worldies and there's no what you can do about it. And it might just happen. I mean, you know, last season, we should have stuffed them and we were hanging on yeah. at the end. Yeah, we yeah. had a couple of good chances. So, uh, I'm not confident. I don't think it can be, but I'm hoping we'll... we'll I mean, Andy Morrison's predicted 5-1. I mean, <laughs> I'm going with Andy. I'm happy with that. But, uh, yeah, that's not yeah. I, I don't think we play our best football at Wembley. Simple as yeah. that. I don't know whether the grass is a bit too long or what. The ball never seems to flow as it does when we play uh, home or away in the Premier League or Champions League games. And, of course, I think that sort of restricts us a little bit. But... We'll have a full team out. We'll have Pep's, you know, we'll have our best 11 out, of course, yeah. allowing for Ortega and, and Edison. I don't think we've got any injury problems. Uh, they've got players coming back, which means they're yeah. not going to be overly match fit like Varane, who came on against Brighton. He's not He's not played many games. So if mm. we can pass them to death, we can tire yeah. them out and, and we can batter them. Yeah. But I mean, it, it won't be easy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'll go through some of their recent form. I'll go back to February, go back about three months. So on the 24th of February, they lost at home to Fulham. Then they beat Forest away from home. Then we beat them 3 1 at our place. They beat Everton 2 0. FA Cup against Liverpool beat them 4 3. Drew with Brentford away in the league. Um, lost to Chelsea 
four three. Drew with Liverpool two each. Drew with Bournemouth away two each. Drew with Coventry in that uh, semi final three three, and then did it on penalties. Then they beat Sheffield United four two. Drew at home with Burnley. Got battered by Palace four nil. Uh, beaten at home by Arsenal 1 0. Then they scraped them against Newcastle 3 2. And then they beat Brighton. So they've really had a mixed bag, a real mixed bag over the last three months where they've been what they kind of are in the table bang average. Eight, that's why they finished eighth. They win a few, lose a few, draw a few. Um, so yeah, but yeah, you, you're right. Momentum. They won their last two games, uh, albeit against. I think a Newcastle team that don't travel well and a Brighton team that were on the bl blooming Brighton beach, you know, with De Zerbe going. Well, De Zerbe, with De Zerbe going. It's the old uh, Mancini, old Pellegrini yeah. style. Couldn't be bothered. Isn't it? Couldn't be bothered. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, we'll go through the team. I mean, I don't think there's going to be too many changes. I think it'll either be, I think, the starting 11 uh, that were in the last game or the previous game, just changing the keeper. So I'll let you uh, start me off. I'll take yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, I think you'll, will you say Diaz opposed to Aki in defence? That's the only thing I can query I can think of in the back yeah. four. I mean, it, it depends how you look at it. I mean, I, I think he's going to, he's got to go with a very similar team. He's got to because, because of what's on the line now. You know, I, I'm not one for sentiment. I think he would have kept Ortega Moreno in if Edison had been fit, but I'm not one for oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you're, you're going there to create. Yeah, Walker's history. nailed on now, obviously. Yeah. He's we've got nailed Ortega on. Moreno, we've got Walker, Gavardio. I think we're not going to argue with yeah. that. The Kanji's probably nailed on as well. Yeah, even though he made a couple of mistakes, but he's probably. Would you go for Aki Stones or Diaz then? I don't know what's happening with Stones, mate. I mean, I've heard rumours he, he's not been happy, but he looked he looked happy after the game on did, Sunday with the trophy. On but, you know, that's just media garbage, probably. That, but he knows. He, I, I don't understand how he can't be happy. Let's face it, he's not played, but we know old glass legs. He's probably not playing. Just didn't want to risk him coming off after thirty minutes or something yeah. like that. So but, I'm sure he understands that. So I don't believe what I'm reading really about Stones, but I don't but, think I don't think Stones will start this. But the what the thing about we'll talk about it in another video about, about Stonesy, but he hasn't featured, has he, for the last few games? He's been on the bench for the last few games. So suddenly from being I think Stones Aki Akanji, hmm. um, it's Diaz is now taking over. And maybe I can't believe his nose is out of joint. I can't believe uh, Stones' no. nose is out of joint. No, I, I think um, it's just media talk because yeah. Just, just he's done he's this. He's been, been through this situation loads of times, of course, yeah. where he's been injured, and then he has he accepts he, has, he struggles to get back in because of the form of the other guys. Well, there was that a three was it three year ago that he was going to leave? He's going to go to Spurs on loan, and then they were going to, they had an option to buy him for twenty, uh, either an option or a commitment to buy him for twenty million quid. He didn't go because his family are up north. He was you know he's a Barnsley boy, played at Everton. And, and at City, he wants to stay in the north. He didn't go to Spurs simply because he didn't want to go uh, down south. And, you know, s three or four months later, he was back up to being 70, 80 million because he was uh, incredible. So, yeah, I agree. I think... Uh, and I think I, probably Diaz will get the shout over Aki. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's been the last few games. That's what Pep's done. The, the curious one is you, how you're going to do your midfield. Are you going to go... Not well, got two options for me, and it's it's not too like, but it's not like for like. It's Kovacic or Doku, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. What are I you think, going for? I think with United's defence, surely he's got to go Doku. I don't know. I mean, would you be worried about United's pace if they when they attack? When they, when yeah, they... I don't think Kovacic. I don't. I don't think that's particularly Kovacic's strength. He puts oh, no, no. grit in midfield, doesn't yeah. he? Which we might need. But I think if our best defence is to attack against United and score goals, then Kovacic can, can come on when we're nice and comfortable and, and shore things up a bit and make sure we don't let it slip. If if you suggest like like the game against West Ham, where they were ultra defensive, um, and Doku was a necessity to to break them down, and he and he did. Um, and if you're not going to go follow the same suit, and we're going to have so much possession, we don't need that extra man in midfield. I, I agree. Um, but having said that, 
I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to disagree with you overall. I probably would have Kovacic. You'd have Doku. I think that's the only only difference. Um, and your attack, can't see any surprises here. No, I mean, Al is going to be there again, isn't he? Of course. And uh, uh, the other team just... You does, drop uh, him. Even, just... even though you obviously have got a downer on him, he's got to be there, mate. He's, he's got yeah. to do it. He saved it up. He saved it. This is This is a big game. He doesn't do very well in big games, but this is his opportunity now. And he likes scoring against United, so why not? I think... I think if he scores one, he scores two against yeah. United. And I hope I think Alvarez scores. will be unlucky to miss out. I can't see Alvarez sneaking in. No. I'll be doing my player, player of the year stats today. And the difference between his start of the season, the middle and the end is, is incredible. We yeah. can understand why Pep dropped him eventually, even though probably me and you were amongst a lot of people saying he should have been uh, rested a bit yeah. earlier. But uh, yeah, you can you can see it, and he, he'll yeah. miss, I think he'll miss out. But it'll be he's a useful guy off the bench, uh, as Doku yeah. would be, of course. He covered two yeah. starts. So, 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 I'm, so you're going to have, um, I'll take him a running goal. Walker at right back, centre backs Diaz and Akanji. Left back Gavardiol. You're going to have um, Rodri, and then in front of Rodri, you're going to have KDB Foden. Out wide, you're going to have Bernardo and. Doku and up top, you're gonna have Haaland. Have you um have you received your call yet to go on, on the third keeper on the bench? <laughs> no, they're not that I'm not question who's gonna be third keeper. Who's gonna be third keeper? Do you know? One of the kids. Um, I don't know. Who's it? Who is it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't watch kids. I don't Walker. watch kids. Walker's our reserve keeper. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really funny sight with Rico Lewis or Stones at right back and Walker on the bench as your subkeeper. With, um, with his gloves on, it'd be fine. It'd be all right. Yeah, Big yeah. Nile Quinn back. He's good. <laughs> Big Nile Quinn. Um, David James. He could go up top <laughs> again. Yeah. Uh, that was a bad do. When you're playing G David James up top looking for a goal and you got your uh, strike, was it Macken on the bench? Uh, anyway, that's uh, bad, bad times. Let's. Well, not... What do you think? What do you think? Of, I mean, obviously United. We're not going to talk waste too much time on them. But of course, um, there's a rumor Maguire might be starting, which is good for us anyway. But <laughs> um, I like Maguire. I've always liked Maguire. I'll say that I quite like Maguire back in the day. But of course, it's not the same. Uh, Rashford's not in the England squad, is he? So he'll be a bit disappointed no. with that. Um, um, he's he's the kind of guy I think who would be sulking about it. Rather than yeah. busting the gut to prove everybody wrong, yeah. Have they got bucket hats this year? Do we know? They've been what they've been given this year. The United, what, what hats? What hats? Uh, bucket with a B. All right, all right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they turned into hats, didn't yeah. they? But obviously, <laughs> <laughs> and I believe we've uh, we've asked Gundo if he'll come back just for this one game, so yeah, history. well, just for the first 10 seconds, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then, mate. Score prediction. Oh, oh, I've got to nick it, mate. I'm going to nick it today. Andy said 5-1. I can't go. I'm, I think they'll score. I don't want them to. I want us to bat a Watford. I want a 6 niller. But um, I'm so, sorry, mate. I've gone 3-1. 8-1. <laughs> I'm going 8-1. 8-1. <laughs> I'll tell you, I was speaking to a friend of ours early on on his, and I said... What we've got to do is finish it in ninety minutes. We can't we can't take this to extra time and penalties because I think we'll lose. We've got yeah. to beat them and, and, and pass them to death and beat them in ninety minutes. Yeah, look, United, in all honesty, are no better than West Ham. That's their level. Um, so yeah, I agree. Ninety minutes, it's got to be ninety minutes, and uh, yeah, all right, maybe eight one's a bit aggressive. Six one is more realistic. I want, no, I want, I want us to, to 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 give them a good pumping, um, you know, uh, and get the whatever, get the double double. That would be just incredible, um, and it's just another string. We take our chances. You say big lummox up front takes his chances, um, yeah. you know, and people like Bernardo are in and around the box like they were the other day, where they caused more trouble. I don't, I don't want to see Bernardo wasted just playing on the on. Yeah, no, I want to. See, I like him. If you've noticed against West Ham, he didn't do it. He was under the radar, but he was just in those little middle, those little yeah, pockets yeah, he, inside. He was absolutely superb. He was floating around a bit. So was yeah. Foden. Every, I mean, basically, our midfielders were floating around. Doku was stuck. And that's out what there. you'll get, of course, if Doku doesn't start, because you'll get Kovacic and you'll get Foden and Bernardo floating around more. I think. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I like Ford and Flo- I, KDB, I like- who again went under the radar. Yeah. I didn't know. I did, hardly, hardly mentioned him when I was looking at my match report on on Sunday. I didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, didn't notice him at all. But I mean, he was he was there doing bits, but no Hollywood balls yeah. was. He was just getting no, on no, with no. it. Well, I, I think from tomorrow they'll be knuckling down, getting ready for the for the for the game. Obviously, building up to that, we're not going to uh, let our guard down. Grealish, Grealish, not a surprise choice. He did well last year, didn't he? Apart from the handball, but uh... not, having it. not having Grealish. No. Um, well, as I said before, the problem for me with Grealish is he's uh, not going to offer as much going forward as as Doku, and you'd like to think we're going to have enough control of the game that we don't need the control of someone who's running back. I mean, Doku has to learn. If he can sort that out, in, I said the other day, if he can sort that out in his game not to switch off, he's going to be some player because then he's he's covering his... Uh, the cracks we need to do better from corners, mate, because that, that, the corners against West Ham, they had three and they scored, well, they scored from two of them, yeah. even though the one was disallowed, of course. Well, that <laughs> so easily could have been a goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there, there you have it, guys. Burner's going for a... 3-1, regular scoreline. He's nicking mine. And I'm going for... I, I, I settled on 6-1. But I just want... I just want... Uh, come on, why not? Why not? Why can't I be greedy? Why can't I be greedy? But, uh, no, whatever happens, uh, it'll be a good game. You're going down. Um, I'm, I've got to work. It's the start of my life. Got to work, got to work, got to work. You can't uh, turn opportunities down. And although I've done me back in, I'm tempted to t- <laughs> ring them up. And say, uh, you know, they'd be, this place has been waiting for me for four years. Can you do it in a chair? Can you, can you uh, do it? No, in no, chair? because they want, they want me to be part of the parade. Um, yeah, been listen, I me- saw a one legged man dancing on Britain's Got Talent the other day, mate. So I'm sure you can manage to you know, blow mate, bubbles in a chair. No, my problem is I can't walk. I mean, back's broke at the moment. So I'm, apart from when I'm sitting in a chair, I'm bent over double. I can't get out of bed. Not because I'm lazy, sod. I just can't physically get it. I have to slide out sideways holding onto anything that's going. I've got a walking stick up here. I'm 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 past it. I'm just I've got this gig on Thursday. I'm just hoping that it gets a bit better because it's gonna I'm gonna look like a right if I turn up not being able to walk and there's a lot the lot all little kids running around. Um it's gonna be hell hell it's it's a photo shoot for a a, a brand, so it's a launch for their a brand and it's a kids brand. So I'm there doing, um, you know, for the for, for for some money shots, let's say. Um, I mean, it's probably not good to say that, but some good pictures. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard, you know, with these kids who are like two foot tall and have to bend down and do stuff, or they, they run the nick off with me stuff because that norm, normally not as normal. Two foot I'm, tall, what the umpa lumpers? <laughs> Little kids, they'd be two years old or whatever, two three years old. Um, but yeah, it'll be a bit of fun bit of fun and then we roll on yeah so saturday i've got to work uh for this gig where they've been waiting for me for four years so uh, i haven't got the heart to tell them because they're waiting for the, a high energy what time what one. time's your gig it's all day mate it's all oh, day because no. there's a there's a carnival or parade and then there's uh the after after show stuff and so they got me all day and they're expecting a high energy performance. I can't even bloody walk, so we'll have to we'll have to see. But I'll have my shirt on. I'll have my shirt on underneath, you know, um, and uh, sweating like a pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well look, look, there's no need. There's no need to bring uh, Luke Shaw into this, mate. That's that's what I'm called for. Uh, He's hey, a lovely guy to play. I quite like Luke Shaw. Yeah. He won't be playing. Well, I'm, I'm, look, guys, you'll know this already because this. <laughs> Video isn't going to come out yet, but Pochettino has left Chelsea. Has he? Yeah, he's gone. All right. Can't believe that. Sacked. He's gone. Uh, well, uh, I don't he's know. Had a good, he's one of the form teams on the last few yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mutual consent. All right. Now, he could easily be going to buy Munich. Who knows? So anyway, anyway, anyway. Or he could be going to United. Possibly. De Zerbi could be going to Chelsea. Who knows? Anyway, that's mm. not what it mm. Yeah, I, I just put, picked this up to see. I can't remember. What, I want to see the weather because uh, I want to see who's who's, who's going to be boiling on Saturday. Is it going to be me? I want him to go to a team I don't like because he's never going to win anything. Yeah. <laughs> so Saturday, the weather, blimey, it's 20. Oh, it's up to 19. So it's not too bad for me where I'm working on Saturday. 19 is still. What's Wembley weather? 
Wembley, 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 Wembley. Saturday, 20 degrees. It's not bad, that. You know, it's yeah, going to be more... I'll tell you what, the last few Carabao Cups were bloody chilly. Yeah. <laughs> well, this won't be chilly, mate. It'll be 19 degrees, uh, a little bit of wind, uh, very little chance of rain. You'll have a, you'll have a good time. And it's not going to be like that Wigan game where it absolutely hosed it down when we got beat and I spent I, I went the wrong way and I spent an hour walking in the rain. I was absolutely wet through anyway. Anyway, guys, that's enough. That's enough. I've got to go and eat my dinner. Thanks a lot, Bernard. You take care. And guys, we'll see you around, Blues. <laughs>